Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see by, well, whatever screen this is, we are clearly on cage yesterday, and it is Friday, and that means it is time for some basics. I do want to point out this will be the last basic video that is like in this style, because starting next week we are going to get into Fuseki basics, and we're going to start introducing, you know, various openings. So, you have some experimentation uh, in your play while you are doing basics. All right, so here we are on KGS. I got a game against another 4Q, finally. Do not ask me how long that took. And I think we're going to just adhere to nice, solid, strong basics and uh, see where it takes us. So that means we're going to approach the widest side, which is this one right now. Bonus points for it being an extension from my corner, or um, potential extension from my corner, I gotta say. Uh, this is just no bueno. The three, two, three, four stones here? And he's choosing not to enclose either of them, but just to split randomly. That's very, very weird. Uh, I will go ahead and attach here. You can argue this is a Jiseki. I don't really care. It's the most basic way of playing, of continuing, in my opinion. Rather than just like dropping down and doing something else. Now you will notice that this is giving up my two stones, so how is that in any way basic? This is also a huge mistake. I will go ahead and take it though. He has to go back and play here anyway. Second huge mistake? No. Alright, so he got that move in, but that means he got rid of this cut. If I force me to take this stone off, this is no longer a cutting point for him, so I can happily extend, and which is what I'm going to do, to be honest. I can go and happily extend for well then again I could just take no I'm gonna happily extend. And he can't like try and reduce it by cutting here and building a wall to maybe do something over here. So if he had any hope of building like this up into the middle, uh, he won't be able to do so anymore because of what he just did. So huge, huge, huge Aji removing mistake early on in the game uh, from him. So now he's splitting. I'm going to grab a base for my little guy here, which will throw him against the influence that he just gave me. I'm going to go back and finish my base like so. Again, I would be more worried about this if there was a cutting here. I mean, imagine that. Atari, connect, extend, oh, completely surrounded. That would suck so much. But because of this stone, I don't care. Um, this is also not a very good idea. If I really wanted to get aggressive, I could go ahead and cut this because where is he going to do? Atari me down and kill off the two stones? Or Atari me over and get me a huge wall? Uh, not very good. So I'll just go ahead and play here, because we're not getting into attacking, we're just getting into large play against someone who's trying to deny us all the things. Again, I can still cut, but we'll respond. Um, I guess I'll... I think it's my Atari that... Oh, I'm going to Atari it. He should not have responded to that. But that's okay. So he's got like a little bit of a wall here and a bit of a wall here. This one seems weaker than this one, so I will take an enclosure of this one. Because this is thicker. So this is the larger side, but I have modifiers for how strong he is down here. So I made that the larger side. Is that the larger side by much? It's like the larger side by what? Like two lines? And I have a modifier for him having strength down here. So this is, is easier to reduce than this is if he chooses to grow this side. Does that make sense? If he tries to attack a group that already has an eye, yeah, I don't care about that, I don't think. I mean, if I wanted to care about it, I could play here, and I guess I will. And then I'm going to take this one as well. So we have an eye. He seems like he's trying to kill me. But his pre his uh, attempts to kill me have apparently uh, given me sente, take a large point away. And if I take this one too, ooh, it's so large. Now why I'm not worried about him closing and killing me here, because if he tries to enclose me, I'm just going to push through it, right? I hear what you're saying. Knowing you can push through that is not basic, is it? I'm 
Should I let him kill me then? I will not. This admittedly is not basic. I'm sorry, you're right. I probably should have answered here. I do apologize for this. Alright, tell you what. I could make this really, really complicated, but we're not going to. I'm just going to go play here. I'm going to jump out. And then I'm going to be fine. All right, we're fine again. Take next largest point. Make sure this little wall can't extend. You're right, that wasn't basic, the attachment. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. I'm sorry, you're right, you're absolutely right. We're in trouble, so we're gonna jump. Now we're gonna get a base for ourselves, just a little bit. Bit of an odd move, I can clamp and kill it still. I can also poke here and uh, cut it off. We're not. We're just trying to get a base for ourselves. That way we're not just running around, or running out rather. Um, I don't think we're good enough right now, so I'm just gonna go jump out one more time. Just a one more jump boom. If I was going to be aggressive, I could go here and falsify that eye, start attacking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Instead, we're kind of like out, so we're going to go ahead and cap this little guy. It gives us some more shape in the center, which is nice. Prevents him from just jumping out and like building up an area, which is also nice. And then the next largest thing to do is to play somewhere over here, maybe a seal on the corner. The throw in would be if we were playing aggressive go, but we're not. And then the next after that, we want to play something like this. So this is a nice shape, as you can see. It forces him to work against my stones, which is strengthening me. See, I disagree with that move, because I can, I can cut that off still, right? But we won't. Uh, next largest move I thought was here, so I'm going to go ahead and take it. And then his territory consists of this, and uh, that's about it really. We've got nice corner, nice corner, nice corner, a little bit of middle in fact as well. So, okay now he's, this is, this is his last attempt. Now if I was really going to play aggressive, I'd play here and then kill off the stone, or cut through it, and put this in danger. I'll tell you what. Let's just connect up. I'm not sure where this is going. Oh, he wants one stone. Oh, I see. I gotcha. Sure. That's fair. That's fair, little buddy. You take your one stone. That's not fair. I can play here. And there's an Atari there. <sighs> basics. We're doing really, really basic go right now, huh? Mm. Okay. I won't do that. I'll go ahead and defend. To make up, definitely to make up for the fact that we didn't play a basic thing here, we're totally playing a basic thing here. But if I pull this uh, from here and then descend it, then these are really in trouble. Okay, that's just that's just overplaying. He thinks he's trying to build up like a larger area here, but again, he's not contemplating the fact that if I take, it's Sente, otherwise Atari, uh, Atari, and then badness. So I'm going to ask him kindly to stop that and kill off the freaking stone. 
If you play Zahane, I mean, there's nothing for it. I'm just going to play here and kill these three stones. Yup. He has to defend, otherwise these three stones are dead. Yup. Hmm. Let's try to keep this somewhat simple, huh? Yeah, it is. You can read out that little thing, right? He saves stone and gets killed. So that gives us one eye, right? He has to now be very, very careful. If I play here, it's completely enclosed. That's really not good. We're not killing him. We're not killing him. We're just gonna make shape. We're just gonna make shape. He's trying to force us to kill him, but we're not gonna do it. We're just gonna live in here. It's gonna be nice, simple, and easy. I'll show you possible. Oh god. Please no. So he just bet the entire game on a co for life. I believe. I believe. No, I wasn't reading. I was thinking about doing this, and I was thinking about getting aggressive and doing that, but we're not going to do any of those things. Now, regretfully, he is tempting us to kill him like you've never seen before. But it's okay. It's okay. We're not going to kill anything. This is going to live with two eyes. Somehow. I don't really know how. Like, you can see this is his shape, right? I mean, it's kind of... It's getting kind of crazy in here. Um... I guess we take advantage of this one, because it's a T-Space Extend, right? That top could so die, though. Hmm. I feel like it's my fault, too. I kind of attack. I kind of fought back a little bit against the unreasonable thing that he was doing here. That's my bad. That's completely my bad. Tell you what, let's just come out. Enough, enough of those shenanigans. Let's just come out. Oh, seriously, little dude. Could you not? Just, just not. He's trying to kill me again. This guy is like the rudest player I've seen in a long time. Always just trying to kill you. I won't stand for that. Tell you what, let's do a double feature today. Cause I don't think this is I don't think this is basic enough. I really don't. So if I Atari, he he knows that this cut kills him, right? Tell you what, maybe I don't know that. Maybe I, it's hard to read. It's hard to read. I don't know that. If you cut this, he Atari's you Atari, and if he connects, he's dead. So we have to take, and then you Atari, and those two stones are dead. This cut still exists. Now we have a different set of variables here. We cut we cut he Ataris, save the stones. We can atari, uh, atari again, he takes. The extend does nothing unless there's a stone here. If there's a stone here, it connects up and these stones die. So this is now a forcing move that he has to play the Hane to. 
he's trying to live, that's probably a good choice. It's gonna keep uh It's gonna keep uh escaping on down here. Like I said, we're not trying to kill anything over here. Never were. Hit the microphone, sorry about that. Listening to random music right now. Which means sometimes it's bad. Not to change tracks. Okay. We need to connect. This is very, very simple. I like it. Alright, so again, you have to be very careful here because there's a whole lot of whole lot of stuff going on here. Um You don't think he's actually going to force me to kill him, do you? I don't think he is. He's not going to do this. He's not going to cut me. That's insane. Anyone can read out that this cut pokes at that cut, right? So Atari up, Atari up. Oh my god, he doesn't. Don't do it. Don't do it, buddy. Don't do it. Can I save your group? Save yourself. No. No, save yourself. Look, this is an Atari. And that that's a... Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Ow. Um okay. So those stones are dead. That that's that hurts a lot. All right. So quick recap of this particular game. Uh, yes, I did cut the remaining uh, from the video. But to quick recap, uh, corners much more important than splitting the side. This uh, there's probably some a bit more basic way of handling this, but this is just a very very basic Joseki which he did unfortunately get a little bit messed up. Uh, you're supposed to just go ahead and play here and then do this. And then congratulations, Sente, with this as a fo whoops. With that as a follow-up later on, so you can potentially grow and do cool things uh, later on by playing this little greedy move here, we get rid of that Aji. And at that point, there's no longer a cutting point over there. So it's not so good. Um, this mm, arguable. I mean, I, I know why you played it. I just don't like it, to be honest. Here, he should play this and not bump his head into his opponent's stone. Like, I don't know where you go from here. Settle this way, I suppose. Maybe we get some territory up there. I don't know. Uh, answer remains the same. These are now equidistant. We're still prioritizing. Again, same thing here. I don't know what you do at this point. I mean, try to go for some kind of co in the corner, maybe? I don't know. I, I don't know. So I did that. This, you're right, we should have just gone ahead and played here at least once. I was being a little bit too light and loose. Whatever. That was my bad. That was my bad, because this wasn't basic. If he plays here, we just go this way. I mean, it's not pretty by any stretch of the imagination, but... He dies. It's thickness, though, so that's that's good, right? Got larger move. I mean, on a more basic, pro uh, more like basic note, like you wouldn't really want to play here again. You'd want to get in like some kind of like extension on the top to go with what you've got, right? The fact that he is trying to kill me when we have a corner and side still open 
is very not basic. And you can see what happens when you risk such a thing. It's like, you better be able to get in enough points here to justify not playing him here, right? And he didn't. Which means once I got Sente, I got this for free, that for free, for an exchange for one stone. In exchange for one stone, I got an enclosure and an extension, and I denied him his. That right there is game over, in my opinion. At this point, Black loses because he tried to. He broke basics. He went into an uncertain fight when there were large points still on the board. And that is. That's how you lose games, not gonna lie. This doesn't have a eye to it, but whatever, we jump doot. Trying to play light, sealing off a corner. This admittedly was an interesting position. Maybe I should have given it to him and just tried to like uh, do things like this instead. Try to lightly, lightly do a little bit of rescuing or a little bit of poking, you know, whichever. That wouldn't be too bad. I could have given this up and still been fine position. If you see score estimator, which you can't because I don't have that window shown, uh, I'm still up by about 20-30 points. So 20-30 plus Sente is, is really good because we can do a lot of uh, fun stuff here. We can like poke at this to ensure that that's going to be okay. We can poke at this to enlarge that. We can poke here to enlarge that. And then from there, we're still gonna win because this was this right here was a game-ending mistake. I don't know why he did that. I don't know why he did this either. This is the thing that I was talking about earlier. He can't play there without getting killed, so he takes, and then that just gets connected out. He defended against it, and then he went back and lived. Ish. And then this is just shocks me that he played this way. Like once you get to this point, you realize you made a mistake, and then you play here. Maybe it's Sente. And you go about your life. Right? Defend the cutting points. Defend the cutting points. Threaten the cutting points. You have Sente, just keep milking Sente for all it's worth. Poke back get the large points in. I mean, that's a huge difference in the game. It says that white is up by 5.5. 5. Well, okay, it's lying, because it's giving like all of this for territory to black, and that obviously, you can obviously see that's not territory. That's not territory at all. In fact, if you really want to be a jerk, you can go in and play moves like this. And that would be... That would not be something that black wants to see. <laughs> Instead, he gave up these stones, and that was the end of the game. So let's move on to the next. Alright, so we are on Foxy right now, playing as a 2Q. But we're going to enjoy some lovely basics where we do not try to kill anything, as we saw last game. This is wider side, so I'm going to go ahead and approach. I always approach when, my three, when the 3-4 is facing me, unless mine is facing them, then it's... Not really sure. This is a great example as to... Oh, hello. I'll say it's a great example as to why we don't play this way. Don't cut me. Please don't cut me. Pretty please, with sugar on top, don't cut me. Thank you. Um, I think kicking here is a mistake. Why did I play if it's a mistake? That's a good question. I'm not really sure. Alright, so... It does put me in a weird position, I grant. Because if I... Uh, it's disgusting shape. How do I fix my shape here? Is this how to do it? Does that give me good shape? I don't know. I like that we're in a bit of a 
uh, bad position here, to be honest. I'm kind of digging it. Seems more realistic. Now this move I ordinarily would not respond to because he's trying to get a thing over here, so he should have backed out or got a base. I could go ahead and throw in there and do something about it, but I won't because I already have nice large moves I want to play. And that's this one. Surround the corner. I like it. Eliminates all the corner's potential and gets potential to me instead. Okay, now I'm going to extend from my potential. Because this is a wider side than this technically, but this has uh, more potential than this side does right now. So I uh, give it priority. If I wanted to maximize my potential here, I could jump out and pincer this again and do a weird jumpy battle, or I could go here and cap this and show you how to like use influence. You know what? Let's do that. Do you want a lesson on how to how to use influence? Let's do it. Influence games are all about being consistent. That's first. That's the most important thing when you're when you're trying to play an influential game, is to play influential. And I'm not a uh, fan of what I'm currently listening to. Because it has lyrics. I hate lyrics. If they're in English, oh my god, I hate lyrics when I'm trying to play Go. Like, I don't mind listening to music as long as I don't understand. Like, it has to be a background noise, you know? So this is your first lesson on influence. If you're playing for influence, play for influence. As we can see here, we're just trying to surround. We are playing surrounding go. No matter what, I don't care what he plays, we're going to do it. As long as we maintain nice strong shape, we should be able to completely enclose this group. Just surround things. So there are two areas on this board that I'm going to attempt to surround things to get more influence. Can you spot where those are? Can you spot where those are? What do you think? Can you? Can you, can you, can you? Um, I don't want to accidentally try to kill him. I'm just going to play here real quick because I'm, I'm protecting this one. That's all I really care about. So if you said first place was here, you'd be correct. Oh god. Oh god. That kills. Oh no. Rightio. And again, we're playing for influence still. The first key of playing for influence is to play for influence. That sounds extremely stupid. In just about any way, in any language, you can say that. But it's also obvious. You have to be consistent and you have to play for influence. Atari. That's why we did this, by the way. Ladder. It's not really a ladder, I'm going to net it. It's the ladder that could be, but isn't. It's pretty deep, right? Like I said, if you're strong in your shapes, then things like this do not matter. Gonna connect. I believe in my shape. Do you believe in my shape? You believe in my shape. I'm gonna try to play this way instead, as to avoid killing the entire group. Don't want to give him sente moves, so we're extending. Now we're trying to surround this area, or we're trying to surround the bottom area. Either or, we're fine with. I 
Oh no, he's not reading. Atari, take, Atari, connect, Atari, ladder, dead. Or just, you know, this. Uh, can I get out of... Uh, I don't see how to get out of it. No, I, this is zero Atari. Okay, I can... I don't know. I want to prove my point about surrounding things. <clears throat> I want to prove the point about surrounding things. First rule of surrounding things is to surround things. I want to show even if he lives in this area, why it's important to surround things. Because I'm going to get in this area, right? It's not like, oh, you know, you make a bunch of middle stuff until they die. It's not really what I'm going for, you know? Tell you what, let's go ahead and just take this. Just for safety's sake. Alright. And now, like we mentioned, first rule of surrounding is to surround, so we're gonna surround this area here. That's a ladder. That's still a ladder. Unfortunately, that's going to resign him. It's probably a ladder breaker. First rule of surrounding things I mentioned previously, and I'll mention it again until you're sick of hearing it, is to surround things. Forcing moves first. Always forcing moves first. Because he can't let us go into the corner and kill him, so he has to defend the corner. Then we'll play moves like this. Go ahead and do a little pincer reaction here. What do I want to do now? I don't know, man. He owes me a move over here too, by the way. He must be moves everywhere. Let's just get shape. Let's go and defend this one. Whatever. Oh, okay. I get to push through. That's kind of cool. I do. All right. So I surround the corner, which is nice. Yes. That is all his. Uh, can threaten to go underneath now, which is nice. That doesn't connect underneath, so I'll go ahead and surround this. Okay. Radio. Um, unfortunately, this one is just going to die. I don't see any way around not killing this. But I want to look at the brighter... Uh, okay, I cannot kill that now. The uh, larger picture here is that he's got one group, two group, three group, four group, Five group, six group, seven group. Oh, door, that's a lot of groups. So, fun fact if I throw in here and I throw in here and then I connect, he's dead because he has to fill out stone, which makes it not yes, exactly. Um, we could also play here and kill the middle. We can kill this one too. So, all of this could essentially die if we really wanted it to. But where's the next largest point? I think this is the next largest point. Because we're making territory up in here, right? This seems pretty big. And I'm going to go ahead and play here and force this to live. And I'm going to play here to force that to live. 
Uh, it looks like if I play here and he blocks, I throw in, I potentially kill the corner as well. It's a lot of things that could potentially die this game, let me tell you. Let's see if I can't push his groups to connect. Because all I'm looking for is like the territory in between. Sure, do it. I'll let you. The tax for him connecting will be these two stones being dead. I'm just a tax man, that's all. Ah, oh, then they stab you in the back. Alright, whatever. This is fine. Apparently the tax for me taking the two stones is for this to connect underneath. That's a bit of a bummer. At least you can't do that. If I descend, I have too many liberties. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Three to four. Still in my head. Very common mistake move. Very, very common mistake move. One, two, three, four, five to three. Pretty straightforward result. Make sure it doesn't connect on up. Make sure that doesn't do anything either. Don't want to get Atari. Maybe this should have been played here since I have to capture it anyway. I don't know. That's a good move. I'll poke here now. We can also throw in here and kill him. Um... Make sure you can't Hane here, it seems like it's a good end game. We'll go and play here and play end game as well. I can Hane, because if you Hane, that can cut. Now I can, so he can Hane here. Got territories up through here, which is good. Nice and solid. I can put all of this onto really, really terrible lines when we're going to. Mostly no line territory here, which I like. So now we're just going to go ahead and just keep reducing. I don't even know how to put this into a living shape, so we're not going to worry about it. We're just going to keep reducing. Slightly bad move, now I could actually play this one link up underneath or connect there, it's kinda weird. Makes it easier to kill the middle if I wanted to. Get a couple of points here, cause Atari is uh, a thing. Um, I'll play here cause it's gonna give him a lighting shape finally. When he plays that one, yep. Let's go ahead and secure this, and we should be good to go. I like it. I'll go in Atari like so. I'm going to connect up just to be one all one group. Doesn't happen very often in my game, so it's kind of one of the things that I take note of. Unfortunate is here is I can throw in and kill this now if I want to. Okay, he's not just good. Um 
can play here because of the Atari. Let's go ahead and seal that off like so. And that should be game, really. Much faster than KGS, that's for sure. Intriguing. He plays there, it's technically a... It's technically a... But I won't do it. I won't do it, I won't do it. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Okay. Connect on up. Keep taking endgame, I guess. Last point, question mark? It's not the last point. I have to play here, otherwise these liberties disappear and he throws in and kills me. Slightly irritating. But hey, it is what it is. That move allowed me to play just press cutting point. No reason to really freak out about whatever he's trying to do. Connect that up because of the throw in to kill me. Don't need to play there. Um, last point? Nope, top point. Could throw in here first. Then he has to connect this one out. Worth more than this one. Yeah, I could have yeah, I should have done this one first. That one that is actually worth one more point than what I just did. And he resigns the game. On these servers you have guess you have an estimator button, you can see that I'm forty points ahead, so he was like no joy and resigns. That's okay. So in this game was was very fast and straightforward. Uh, I played here, he should do this one, make sure I can't start on his corner. At that point, we will tag this and then expand and, um, yeah, attack and expand at the same time. We got shape here, which gave us into a bit of a bad position. We just took sente for a large point, which is to surround things, because this is called the surrounding game. So we surrounded his corner and got a bunch of influence. He should live as soon as possible. Maybe even attach here again. I don't even know. This might have been just straight up Sentai. And here we played an influential game, and I want to stress the importance of when you're playing influence to surround things. Like here we surrounded him, not even just trying to kill, we're just surrounding. Here again we're threatening to surround, he should defend. And then at that point we are going to go back and probably surround here as well. To get as much of the influence as we possibly can. Instead he did this, which was kind of questionable, but kind of, I mean completely. These little cuts don't work, uh, it's just not... It's just not uh, weak enough shape to get away with something like this. That's all there is to it. Long know the defense, you're good. And then this we didn't do, but I'll show you. Some of you may have missed this in an actual game. Maybe some of you would miss this, but that's clearly in the end game. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to keep surrounding things to show you the importance of surrounding things. So we took that to get rid of the Aji. Went back to surrounding things. Unfortunate. Surround things. Surround things. Surround things. He did live here, which is a bit unfortunate, but the cost of him living here was he got this cut off, so he's not making territory. And that, that's like the thing with uh, influence, like you build influence, they keep trying to reduce, and as they're trying to reduce, they make no points. So that's really, really good for you, and not so good for them. So the fact that he might be living here, might be living here, is okay, because we're like making points over here, and we're making points in here, we made points down here. 
uh, could make more points over here by killing the stone, and he just doesn't have very much, so it's fine. This, for those of you who aren't aware, you just throw in, throw in, not Seki, because that's an Atari, so it's a connect. That's an Atari, take, throw in, and he's dead. It would have been Seki if, like, there was a white stone here. If there's a white stone here, and I connect in Gote, then I don't, I, I can't ever Atari him, and I can't make it a shape. Uh, not the case in this game. So right now, look, let's look at all the ways we can kill him, uh, kill his stones. One way we can kill a stone is playing the Atari here, into this kind of deal, and suddenly he has no shapes anymore. So that dies. Um, this similarly is also going to die. All, all it could do right now is go to Ko. Uh, this similarly is going to die. Because there's just nothing for this to do. Right? Like, that's, that's all that it can do right now. That's one long roundabout dead shape. Uh, we could also kill this, probably. If he's not careful, it looks like we might have a dead shape here. I don't know, maybe. Um, we've also got... I think we had this later. And this was very straightforward. And that's the end of the game. Essentially we just kept making, uh, we just kept surrounding things. He kept making no territory while we were surrounding things, and we got ahead, and a couple of things died in the meantime. Didn't need to kill anything, we were ahead by 30 points, or 40 points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so that's 24. Uh, if these were alive somehow and we were connected, we'd still be ahead. So, didn't have to kill anything, but he did, he did play some really strange things that just got himself killed. Not much you can do about that sometimes. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the basics games. And as always, I'll see you next time. Which, remember, we'll start introducing actual Fuseki. Hope you enjoy that. Take care, everyone.